seconds position and then just after second starts I want it to be just off so it's more delayed to the second title now this is just opposite to what I actually shown in the video preview how you just alternate them around uh, not too much difficulty there I actually quite like it how it comes in after not first um, okay so now we've got the second title and now for maybe a more tricky bit um, it all t rotates so to do this I'm going to compose everything and go to layer pre-compose I'm going to call it mm, a second and first it probably should be called first and second it's probably second and first anyway what we're going to do is by eight second about seven and a half just uh, just before eight after seven uh, we're going to keyframe the position and the no 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 the scale and the rotation in about eight and a half seconds we're going to go to the rotate tool you're going to rotate it 90 degrees so it's vertical and also the scale to oh, my bad I go to the select and scale uh, hold shift so it's even uh, just so it fills up uh, maybe a little bit more than that because you don't want any of them black borders around the side so we'll zoom in does that just fit now nah, a little bit more you need to make it a little bit bigger than that not to bother uh, so just go to the scale again not too much however check if that works all right and that works fine so now we're going to make a new solid and the color of this solid is going to be the same as this green so okay and this green is going to start and it's going to let's look what it's going to do it's going to come up here and it's going to wipe across and we're going to give the effect that that green tab is wiping across we're just going to make it the same color so it gives that illusion and so this is going to start so it ends there obviously it needs to start just after or at the same time I'll make it start at the same time make sure position it just right like so and so just go to the position tool is it going to be position or scale uh, medium transform uh, so the text comes across make it a lot quite a bit bigger and again make sure it fits so it's going to start there and it's going to end about nine so we're going to keyframe uh, the scale and then go back to where it starts and the position as well and that's going to be there like so and just make sure you line it up like so however that goes outwards so then what we're going to do however it fills up the tab maybe no, no not quite so it's going to make sure it fills up there and then we'll make a new solid and this is going to be a cream color uh, okay cancel actually so I'll hide this layer I'll go new solid and take the little color click the yellow and okay and this yellow is just going to fill up that space on the left just here and just put it to the left of that green bar so when the green bar comes in 
I've got a head in here. Here we go. I'll make sure it fills up. Oh Christ. Uh, scale it so it fills widthways. And sure it comes in. And then the green bar flies. Make sure it is actually lined up. So I'll hide the green just one more second. And finally, just make sure it lines up. There we go. So that should be okay. Make sure the green's back on. Oh, and there we have it. We've got that nice green effect. And that wipes out. And I'm going to make new text. And it's just going to be called third. Oh, Christ. Third. Line it up. Like so. And so this is going to fly in from the left. So if that comes in there, you want this to start about here. And end at around just before 10 seconds. So we'll go to the transition tool <coughs> and keyframe the position there and go to the beginning and make it so it's to the left and because it's the same color again you don't notice it uh, so that flies in like so and if we do the same effect and go file new text and call it uh, third title make sure this gets lined up again here and I do exactly the same it's going to be just a bit after the third title so if it comes in about there so go to the position tool transform position keyframe the position there and just before like so we'll make sure it's to the left and hold shift so it goes straight so the third title comes in like so so now I've got a very nice animation it's coming together here we've got the opening title uh, the second third title and so obviously all we need now is uh, the, the circles to pop up and the finisher so we're almost there title's done uh, so we're going to make a new. Um, now we're going to make we're going to make a new solid in, indeed, and let's have a look at the exact colours that are used <coughs> for the expanding of the circles. So it's 